Well, hello, YouTube. Hey, guys, it's Fletch. Welcome back to the Big Sky Tactical Channel here in Big Sky Country, also known as Montana. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at the Lee Precision. Uh, it's called the uh, Universal Decapping Die. And uh, if you're kind of new to the whole reloading scene, decapping simply means that you're removing the primer pocket uh, out of the round. So, just because there might be someone kind of new out there that doesn't quite understand that concept. Here's two rounds. The one on the right still has the primer in there. The one on the left has had the primer removed with the decapping die. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm still kind of new to the universal uh, decapping die. Uh, I decided to try it initially because I had a bunch of uh, 223 or 5.56 brass that I'd had and uh, a lot of it had a military crimp in there and that just simply means that uh, on the edge of the round uh, you can kind of see in this one here on the edge of the round right in here what happens is they push just a little bit of that brass down in the hole so that <clears throat> your primer can't come out and so uh, you can't typically just use a normal um, sizing die in order to get that primer out because it will probably break your mandrel uh, that goes down in there and just so you have an idea this is what the replacement mandrel for the Lee Universal uh, decapping die looks like and this is a you know a very heavy duty piece of equipment here compared to your standard mandrel that you would have or pin that you would have in a sizing die and uh, like I said so far it's worked very very well I'm very happy with it uh, if you look down over here I got a whole box full probably about uh, well over a thousand there and then over a thousand over here so this box over here and this box over here uh, <clears throat> over a thousand in each one so uh, <clears throat> it's performed flawlessly absolutely no problems and for those of you that are like I said before you know new to the reloading scene kind of wanted to give you an idea about how this works and this is what's called a Colette die meaning that all of the tension that holds your decapping pin or your mandrel in there is controlled Get this in focus uh, right here at the top, and so you use a, a three-quarter inch uh, wrench here on the sides, and then a half inch on uh, the collet up here, and that holds your tension. And as you can see, the head of this is pushed up just a little bit, so that's part of the design of the die to keep you from breaking the the mandrel or the pin, so that if you hit a really stubborn uh, military crimp that typically it won't break your decapping pin it'll just push this up so then all you would have to do is you know, use your two wrenches and loosen it and then drop it right back down in there and you can go back to work but uh, being a you know ha or having a self-reliance mindset uh, <clears throat> whenever possible and it's not always possible but whenever possible I always try to take the stance that um, two is one and one is none. So, you know, if I can afford to get two of something, um, maybe that you know something that might be a little bit lesser quality or a non-name brand, so that I can get two of them, that's better sometimes than buying two brand name things because you can't afford it. So, <laughs> but again. You know, I bought the extra, the extra decapping pin that goes along. You know, the die comes with one, and I bought an extra one. So again, two is one, and one is none. <clears throat> and uh, to, it's very, very simple to use. And uh, actually, I'm going to show you how to use it next, real quick, and I'll get a close up. <clears throat> but if you buy the the universal decapping die, 
you're still going to need the right size shell casing holder, or I like to call them shell the seat. I don't know where I got that from, <laughs> but just what I like to hold, call it. But you're going to need the shell holder. So if you buy, like, as an example, here is a you know AK-47 round, you know 7.62 by 39 Russian, <clears throat> and uh, this has the your shell casing holder that is in there that you'll need for your press and um, so the reason why I'm saying that is because if you just buy this this uh, die kit like this it doesn't have all of the shell holders in it so you'll need a shell holder for any round that you want to decap and typically with your military crimp you're going to see it in you know, uh, 5.56, uh, sometimes 223, and um, like 308, <clears throat> or, or you know, 7.62 by 51, and then um, AK-47 or 7.62 by 39. So, bear with me a second here, and uh, I'll get a close-up for you guys so you can kind of see what's going on with it. All right, guys. So, uh, <clears throat> first off, I wanted to show you. I still have the shell holder in there from you know 223 or 5.56, but this is what your shell holders look like. So you, you just lift up the piston a little bit and the shell holders slide out the front. And we're going to put the um, 7.62 by 39, which is for Lee anyways, is shell holder 12. For those of you that care or might want to try to do this. All right, and uh, <clears throat> this is, as you can see here, it says FC on there. This is a, excuse me, uh, military crimp round. And so we're going to slide it in there. And just gently slide it up in there. And just, you know, with the natural pressure of uh, the weight of the handle was enough to, to push out the primer. So, you know, this... This isn't rocket science, you know, it's, it's really pretty easy and, you know, basically as fast as you can, you know, run the handle up and down, <laughs> that's really all you got to worry about. Now, one thing I will tell you guys, because, um, you know, you just never know what another person's uh, proficiency level is and, you know, and this is what I was getting ready to say. Uh, I just hit a shell that has a Burdan primer in there, so that is a different kind uh, of primer that's in there, and the, the seat on it is different. And if you look on here, this is uh, NNY and then 1979, and it's got a little bit of red paint around there. That is a Burdan primed shell, and you're not going to be able to use uh, <clears throat> the Lee Universal Press for this. There's uh, actually, uh, I think um, RCBS makes a special Burdan uh, primer tool where you can pull those out. But you can definitely feel the difference between what is and what isn't. Because what's going to happen is I've only got the my handle down. It's less than halfway and it's already bottomed out. So I know right off the bat that that is not a standard primer like on these FC, which stands for Federal Cartridge, uh, for these rounds. But so yeah, it, it's just basically you know as fast as you can put them in there and take them out, it will decap them or take the primer out. And um, one other thing that this is good for is. If you are in a situation where, like for me, my range is outside, so a lot of the brass that I pick up is outdoor range brass. And uh, I started to say, uh, another Burdan primer, that <clears throat> when, uh, <clears throat> let me rephrase it, uh, another Burdan primer, well, I picked up a whole bunch of uh, brass out at the range the other day, and a lot of this stuff is. Uh, Birdie and primed. <clears throat> Anyways, um, what I was starting to say is that 
Uh, if you're picking up uh, outside range brass, like like I have here, uh, a lot of times what you're going to find is that it's dirty. And if you run dirty brass up through your dies, uh, it has the potential to, at some point, uh, harm your dies. And you know, I'm sure there's people that would agree with that and people that would disagree with that. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. But one nice thing about using uh, the Lee Universal Decapper is that <clears throat> you don't have to run dirty brass uh, up into your sizing die in order to decap it. So for, uh, you know, if, if you're an, an experienced reloader, you'll understand what, I, what I'm saying. And for those of you that may be newer, um, <clears throat> that'll be food for thought for you that you're going to want to uh, maybe keep in mind when you're making, you know, an investment into your reloading setup. And there's another Burnan primer. And uh, you can definitely feel it when you hit one of those. <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it won't, your, uh, your piston won't be allowed to push the primer up. It won't have any give at all. And so it's pretty easy to tell what's bird and primed and what's not bird and primed. That's also would be something important that you would want to know um, if you were buying used um, 7.62x39 brass from someone. You know, you would definitely want to guarantee that it was boxer primed and reloadable and not bird and primed. <laughs> you can do, you can reload bird and primers. Uh, it just, there's a, it's, there's a lot more that goes into it. And uh, it's not anywhere near as simple and efficient as uh, rounds that are boxer primed. The reason why you may want to decap or uh, deprime, you know, take the, the primer out before you clean your brass is because you can, it'll clean the primer pocket out too. You don't have to use a separate tool to clean out your primer pocket <clears throat> if you will, and I'm trying to find my little uh, tool here to clean out my primer pocket. So here it is. That's with my uh, Lee cutter set. And yes, I, I do use a lot of Lee stuff, guys, because uh, it's uh, quite a bit less expensive than the other stuff that's out there on the market, and it just works. It gets the job done. So a uh, primer cleaning tool like this, and you know, basically you've got two sizes of primers. You've got you know, large pistol or large rifle, and then small pistol or small rifle, and you just use this tool, and like you got a dirty primer pocket there, and you just twist it in there back and forth a little bit at an angle until you get all of the nasty burnt residue and the, the, the primer powder that was in there, and you know, and get it nice and clean for you. So again, the purpose for uh, wanting to clean, or excuse me, let me press that. The purpose for uh, decapping or depriming your shells before you clean them is that your cleaning process will also clean out your primer pocket. But it, if you are using your uh, your die like this, this, this was uh, the mandrel that would normally decap as you're sizing the outside of the shell. Uh, if you have a military crimp, one, you could break the mandrel that's in there, so we already talked about that, but secondly, you don't want to be running dirty, nasty shells up into your forming die because over time that could ruin your die. So. That's another advantage to having the universal uh, decapping die. So, well guys, that's it. Uh, thank you for joining me today. 
I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please uh, feel free to uh, leave any questions, comments, or concerns that you have down below. And uh, Birdie and Primer again. <laughs> So any of the, those ones that have the NNY in there, 1979, those are all birdie and primed. That's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you're having a blessed day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.